Paul Griffin, one of the most successful newsreaders ever to grace these studios, has died. Anyone watching TV in the 70s and 80s knew Paul, who read our nightly news alongside Don Seckham. He told many important stories. This one is about him. His was a distinctive voice from a golden age. And a very good evening from Paul Griffin. Paul Griffin and Don Seckham, the Nine News dream team of the 70s and 80s. And a very good evening from Don Seckham and Paul Griffin. Good evening, Don. Good evening, everyone. Many of those who worked with Paul Griffin were together today. They call it the Rats Club, radio and television survivors. And we've lost one overnight. We've lost uh, Paul. They paid tribute. And we saw this. You might have been a newsreader, but you could end up in a comedy skit in a variety show. You could, you ended up anywhere in those days. Brilliant voice, really brilliant voice. Like Don Seckham, he was a lovely bloke and much loved by the nine viewing family. Paul Griffin won a Logie in 1979, most popular male personality in Queensland. I'm rather proud of the fact that National Nine News in Brisbane covers all of the state. Paul Griffin's very first night in the newsreader's chair is a dramatic story in itself. It was at the time of the 1974 Brisbane floods and the usual newsreader, Don Seckham, well he was reporting from the floodwaters in Milton. With no one left on the station to read the news, they threw Paul Griffin into the hot seat. He must have done a pretty good job. Well, you either made it or you didn't, and he made it. He certainly did. Thank you very much. For Wilmington, 9 News.